Hey everyone, so you click on this link because you wanna know all about Glen Eagle here in Colorado Springs. Today I'm gonna to show you firsthand what it looks like to live in Glen Eagle, what the neighborhoods look like, the streets look like, and the homes you can purchase here in Colorado Springs. So stay tuned, you're not gonna miss this driving tour. Hey everyone, it's Lori and Kayleen. Kayleen's not here with me today, but she's doing another video on Sanctuary Point, which is another gorgeous area here in Colorado Springs. So we are dividing and conquering. If it's your first time to our channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell as we go over a ton of new content all about moving to Colorado Springs. It, reach out all the time. We have clients, we absolutely love it. We are so busy and we love it. We have a team of agents here. It's us that you get when you reach out. We're good at what we do. So reach out anytime with any questions on moving to Colorado Springs call, text, day, night, doesn't matter. 719-639-3393. Hey guys, so just a little introduction to our little driving tour today. So today we're going to show you around Glen Eagle and I'll kind of talk to you through that as I drive. It's kind of awkward to talk and drive at the same time in a conscious stream of thought, but I'm going to try my best today to give that to you here in Colorado Springs and show you why our clients love Glen Eagle. We have sold and bought hundreds of homes here in that Glen Eagle area and our clients actually love Glen Eagle. It's a unique area here in Colorado Springs, home from about six, seven into the millions, um, but what you get in Colorado Springs, close to the mountains, is remarkable in Glen Eagle. So if you are thinking of moving to Colorado Springs, Glen Eagle is definitely an area to consider, and I'm gonna drive you around and show you what the streets look like driving in, and then also the neighborhoods, and um, also the elementary school here in the area. So if you are thinking of all of moving to Colorado Springs, Glen Eagle's a great place to check out, so let's go. All right, we are going to show you Glen Eagle today. So. Where is Glen Eagle? So Glen Eagle is, if you're looking at maybe one of our other videos or a map and you're looking at I-25 as a major interstate that runs north and south, um, you know, there's Briar Gate if you want to look or the north entrance or the, I mean, the south entrance of the Air Force Academy. And then you go, um, you know, there's Monument. Then in between there's a road called North Gate. Um, and you'll see right off of North Gate to the north a little bit, there's this um, little section called Glen Eagle. Um, and so we're gonna kind of show you what that area looks like today. Glen Eagle's kind of um, unique um, just because of some of the houses you know, that sit uh, in that area. You can have houses with a little more lots for um, some of the um, places that here in Colorado Springs. And it's mixed in with some old homes versus some new build homes because Glen Eagle used to be a golf course. Um, and it obviously went under. And so now, um, you know, you have homes that used to be, um, you know, sitting on that golf course and that land has been bought and they're developing it. So um, just a really nice area though still. I know some of those homeowners the weren't, lights, um, right. I'm taking you to a home that's active right now. So you can listen to my British driver, but you can see a gorgeous fall day here in Colorado Springs. Um, there's planes flying from the Air Force Academy. Pikes Peak is right there. Uh, you can see it by dash cam. Um, but um, you can see just a gorgeous day here in Colorado Springs. It's fall, the October. Turn right onto um, Voyager Parkway. You have the trees are turning. You can still, we're not quite at peak here in Colorado. In the mountains you are. You have like a lot of those golden aspens coming through. So I'm um, just gonna drive you around Glen Eagle. Um, we are probably about nine miles. Um, from Glen Eagle, from this Briar Gate location. Slice, turn left. Um, and so I'll show you what that looks like. So to the right of me is on the shops of the Briar Gate. Um, Kayleen and I have highlighted that area before. So you got um, Panera's and P.F. Chang's and oh, let's say Lush and Sephora, Banana Those Republic. Use the left um, two so it's kind of our more north. upscale, trendy shopping area in Colorado Springs. We don't have a ton of them as we probably have mentioned. Um, and then there's Pine Creek Golf Course is right here. Then keep right um, to merge to right onto I-25 North. We're driving. All right, so we are continuing on our journey to Glen Eagle. Use the right lane to keep right to merge so onto I-25 North. So you can I see this is I-25. This is the major way that you go north and south, depending upon 
possibly where you work, or if you wanted to get to Denver, um, probably about a 45 minute drive with no traffic up to Keep Denver. Right. Bronco games, popular right now this fall season. We get into AV hockey season um, coming up here as well. Um, so you can see the Air Force Academy is directly in front of me on my dash cam. So we're gonna drive up to that north entrance of that Air Force Academy and show you the homes in that area. If you go a little bit further, like I said, after this exit, I'm gonna get off of on Northgate, you'll get into Monument. Um, a lot of our clients are um, you know, really enjoying that Woodmore location. Um, it's more of a woodsy feel. Um, Glen Eagle, you do have some it's more mature small. trees, Take exit um, but it's a little bit disclose. more open than you would think of at Black Forest or in that Woodmore location. All right, so we are continuing on I-25. You can see um, over here is sort of the north gate. Behind us was the Intercrest Parkway. There's the Great Wolf Lodge um, and the, uh, the farm. One of the neighborhoods we highlighted, a newer build community was over there to the right of the road. Again, all to um, the left is Air Force Academy. So this is Northgate. You'll see a Bass Pro Shop. There's Top Golf. Um, a lot of new development over here in Northgate, Glen Eagle area. I'm sorry, my dash cam fell. Um, in a quarter of a mile, bear right onto Northgate Boulevard. So we're still about three miles north. Um, or south of our destination of Glen Eagle. Um, you'll Stay see when you right get off lane. here, if I was gonna go to the left, I would be at the north entrance of the Air Force Academy. Um, instead, we're gonna go right and be um, on Northgate. Northgate does feed into Discovery Canyon, which is that um, pre-K through 12th Bear grade right school. Northgate Boulevard, then turn left onto Struthers Road. In Academy District 20. Use the left two lanes to turn onto Struthers Road. Average price point of homes around this area is around six to seven hundred thousand, um, just depending upon the size of the home. You do not get a ton of small homes over here. Right? So we are on Northgate heading to our destination. So from I-25, we're gonna go north on Struthers Road which will lead us up into Monument also if we kept going. And the home I'm taking you to is from 800,000, about 4,000 square feet. Um, and it has been on the market for a while, so you will find homes here in Colorado Springs and upper price point. Maybe if they need a little bit of TLC, you know, some of the older finishes that, you know, may sit on the market and not be That's quite as competitive. About, take the first exit onto Glen Eagle Drive. That's when you get those completely redone homes here in the area that they tend to go pretty quick, even at the eight, nine hundred thousand dollar price point. So this right here is getting into Glen Eagle. So we are on Glen Eagle Drive. So you'll start to see these are some townhomes in the area from the 400s, 500s. Um, again, nothing is super um, affordable as far as being below the five, six hundred price point here in Glen Eagle. Um, some, but not too many. Most reside in the five, six, seven, um, up to obviously um, 1.5 million or more, depending upon the lot and the home. So you'll start to see, or straight ahead of me on my dash cam, is you know that used to be the golf course, and you can see to the right some of these newer built homes, along with some older homes. And so you'll see to the left some homes that have been here that were on the golf course and now are you know they did leave a little bit of land and open space behind them but you will get new construction kind of in this place so it's kind of a different place here in Colorado Springs as far as you know most time in our new build communities you get all new build homes or you have all existing homes from the 70s or 90s depending upon the area but here in Glen Eagle you'll get new build right and then existing. Sorry, I just took it off my dash cam. But um, so you'll see a little bit of everything here in Glen Eagle. But a lot of our clients do zone in this area. Really good school districts, according to niche.com. It's um, and as far as just a really good location, as far as also convenience to I-25, um, and it's treed and kind of that mature landscaping but if you don't want it to be you know the dense black forest where you have all those ponderosa pines this is a good in-between option for our clients all right so this is antelope trails 
um, one of the elementary schools that feeds into this area with District 20, a really um, well-known elementary school in the area. And then you can see we are, you know, pretty close to the mountains here. That's Pikes Peak straight ahead of us. It kind of looks more like that in um, real life. Not quite so far away. The mountains are pretty close. Uh, I'm just going to drive you around some of these homes here so you can see what you get if you want to narrow in on the Glen Eagle area. But compared to some of the newer builds, communities like Cordero and Wolf Ranch, you can see lots are more mature and there are more spaces and more yards in between these homes. Not a ton of fences. Um, you won't see a ton of privacy fences um, in this area um, as well. So I'm just going to kind of drive you around and show you the, a couple homes that are for sale in this Guys, so this is a home that's been on the market for 13 days, which is kind of a lot for here in Colorado Springs, but seven beds, six bath, 4,600 square feet. So a little bit larger home, um, 750,000. They just lowered it $500 just for you. Um, but this, you can see they have the pods, they're getting ready to move, but this is your classic Glen Eagle home here in Colorado Springs. And so I'm just gonna kind of show you and drive you up and down the roads in the streets here. You'll notice there's not sidewalks. Some of our clients have said, you know, they wanted a, a neighborhood with sidewalks. Um, Glen Eagle is, you know, just the street with no sidewalks. So obviously you can do tons of hiking and stuff around here, but it's gonna be, you know, on the roads and it's not too busy of an area, so you should be fine. But just a little bit of interesting fact to point out.